much does a wedding DJ cost? The answer, unfortunately, there isn't any, okay? So what I'm gonna do is help you understand how you can find out how much the DJ you want for your wedding will cost. Okay, so here's a list of do's and don'ts on how to find out how much the DJ you're looking for uh, will cost you and how much you need to budget. Here's the don'ts, okay? Number one, don't call around a bunch of DJ companies and ask them how much they charge for a four or five hour wedding. Okay, every wedding is different. Everybody wants something different. They should, um, they deserve to have unique service. So instead, um, you want to do your research first before you find out pricing. So don't do that. Don't call around and ask how much for a four or five hour wedding. If you do, you're going to end up with a cookie cutter DJ who does a cookie cutter wedding at best. Okay, so if it doesn't turn out the way you want, the only person you have to blame is yourself. Number two, stay off the internet and stay out of the bridal magazines and looking for prices, okay? There's so much misinformation out there. The chance that you're going to get the wrong information is great by doing that, okay? And number three is don't ask your friend how much they paid for their DJ and base your budget on that, okay? Because it's probably been a few years, um, and unless you're going to hire that particular DJ, the prices will vary, and you may end up under-budgeting for the DJ you want, okay? So here's a list of do's. And the number one do, and you can't get away from doing this, is do your research, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna gather a list of DJ companies together to call, okay? So to get this list, there's multiple ways of doing it. The primary way should be if you've hired any vendors yet, Ask them if there's any DJs that they can recommend, okay? Because your vendors, that's all they do is weddings. And they've probably worked with many DJs, and they could probably tell you the good ones and the bad ones. And a lot of times, the good ones, they'll ask for cards. So if you ask them, a lot of times, they'll refer you to a good quality DJ. Add those DJs to your list. Start them off at the top of the list. Next, go to internet, like Google, and type in wedding DJ in the search area. Now, I would even make it more specific to your area. For example, if you're here in Orange County, type in Orange County Wedding DJ. And then you'll be provided with a list of thousands of DJs to choose from. Okay, so this is going to take some time. Okay, we never said it was going to be easy. It's going to take some time. But the time that you invest in selecting the right DJ will make a huge difference in the success of your event. Because you're going to spend a lot of time planning this wedding, and you don't want to not spend the time hire the wrong DJ who's going to destroy everything that you spent months putting together. Okay? So click on the links and look at their website. If their website looks professional, if it has professional information in there, um, and if it gives you information that you need to understand who they are, then put their name down and put their number down and give them a call. You know, if it, if it looks cheesy, if it looks cheap, then chances are their service is the same way. Because if they're not going to put the time and energy in to do their website right, what makes you think they're going to put the time and the energy in to do your wedding right? Makes sense, doesn't it? So then after you gather a list of really solid-looking, professional-looking web website DJ companies, and you have your list of referrals from your vendors, make the phone call and call them. Interview them. You want to interview them like you're interviewing a candidate for a position in a company, okay? Because basically you are. They're interviewing for a position on your wedding team. So you wanna ask them what kind of training they have, um, what kind of experience they have, uh, what kind of things that you know, makes them unique, or what could they do to, to make your wedding reception unique and memorable. Ask them these tough questions, okay? And make sure that the person you're talking to is the DJ that's gonna be working your event. There's a lot of companies out there that will talk to you and help you do all the planning. And then what they do is they farm out your wedding reception to the cheapest DJ they can find so they can make the most money on it. So if the person you're talking to is not the DJ that's going to be at your event, then either ask to speak to that person. If they won't connect you, then say thank you and hang up. You want to talk to the DJ that's going to be there on the day of your wedding so you can make sure that your personalities will click you can make sure that they're properly trained, properly prepared to execute your wedding perfectly. After you do that, put, an, put a check mark by the ones that you really, really like and you really clicked with. 
And then you'll put those lists together. You'll evaluate the pros and cons after you've gotten pricing. And you'll pick the one that best suits what you're looking for. If you do this, you'll find a DJ that'll be great for your wedding. Everybody will have a great time. You'll be relaxed and you'll have a phenomenal event. Okay, we hope this information is helpful. Um, for more detailed information on how to go through this process, please check out our blog listed below. And we look forward to seeing you here next time.